Hi, I'm Jessica Taylor from InkItUpWithJessica.com and I love pretty patterned papers. Whenever a new Stampin' Up! catalog comes out, that's the first thing that I go to look at and the first thing that I order. So in this video, I want to share all the pretty papers with you. I'm going to be sharing papers from the January through June 2021 Stampin' Up! mini catalog, as well as the Celebration, which this year, if you're familiar with Stampin' Up! Celebration, is shorter. It runs January 5th through February 28th, so it's a month shorter. But I'm gonna show you all the pretty papers in this video, so let's get started. First, we have the True Love Designer Series paper. This is a black and white paper that has floral designs on one side, and you can color these in so many different ways. I actually have a video about coloring in your black and white pattern paper, and I'll be sure to link to that in case you're interested. But one side is really pretty black and white florals that can be colored if you want. And the other side are just nice basic black and white patterns that you can use with lots of colors. I like to add a pop of color, like a pop of pink with these patterns when I'm making a card. But they can be used with so many different colors and for so many different occasions. The Hydrangea Hill Designer Series paper is on page 19 of the mini catalog. And this paper reminds me of my mother-in-law because she loves the colored lavender and hydrangeas and these kind of flowers. So some pretty flowers on one side of the paper. If you're a scrapbooker, I thought that this piece would be great for just adding some photos into this middle section here. And then on the back side are some nice neutral patterns that you can use for so many different things. A few more flowers here. I like the really faint flower design on this purple paper. On page 25 is the Dandy Garden paper, and this is six by six paper, and this is not my favorite. In fact, I think some of this is quite ugly. <laughs> I do not love it at all. But there are some nice pieces. This dragonfly piece is nice. Not a fan. Not a fan. This is a nice basic piece that can be used. This is okay. And then what they did is they have these beautiful papers at the end that are my favorite, right? Blue, pretty, super nice. On the back, these two are my other two favorites. Why do they put my favorites back to back? Come on, Stampin' Up. Then there's this, um, it's not lovely. It's a B pattern, I don't like it. But there are some nice pieces in here. There are some that I do not like at all, but you could make some nice cards with this. I know some people love it. We all have different styles, so maybe this will be your favorite pack of paper. That's a really pretty one too. On page 33 is the Fine Art Floral. Fine Art Floral Designer Series paper. That's a mouthful. But it has these really pretty hand-painted flowers on one side. I absolutely love how bright and brilliant blue this background is on that piece. And that's this piece is frameable, and I'm going to show you how to step it up in a second even. But then the back side has just some nice basic patterns, and I think some of these lighter ones and even some of these lighter areas would be really nice for stamping on. There's a stamp set that kind of kind of coordinates with it. You don't have to use it with it, but it's called Art Gallery, and it has a big flower stamp in it. I think it would look really nice stamped directly on some of these patterns. So I want to go back to this piece here in the fine floral set because they also have some Golden Garden Designer Specialty Acetate. I don't know why these things have such complicated to say names, but it's really pretty and it matches up with your paper. So it's an acetate, so it's clear. Maybe if I go like this, you can see it. It's, it's clear acetate, and then it has gold on one side and silver on the other. But if you use the gold side, it will match up with this pretty paper here. Couldn't you just put that in a frame and hang it on your wall? I mean, that is gorgeous. You could also cut it up into bigger pieces to make some cards. So in the acetate, there's three different sheets. So that's an all over flower. And then there's also, I'm not sure what you call these, but it reminds me of Morocco and tile. And then again, the opposite side is silver. I recommend putting those on with glue dots is what I usually do. 
All right, on page 41, we have the Sand and Sea Designer Series paper. I love to go to the beach, so I really am loving this paper. One side has seashells and sand dollars and starfish. And I think these look like jellyfish. And then just some dotted lines. And then the other side are these really pretty, let me flip all of them around, these really pretty, like almost like watercolor, um, this one looks like sand, but a lot of just these nice background watercolors in really pretty designs. And I like the colors too. On that same page, I wanted to mention the pearlescent paper. It comes in 12 by 12 sheets, and I believe you get two of them in a pack. It's really shiny. I'm not sure if you can see it on the video so great, but it is really shiny and just pearly. And I just wanted to compare it for you with the shimmery white cardstock that Stampin' Up! has. The cardstock is thicker and it's definitely whiter. So this pearlescent paper is more of a vanilla and the shimmery white is more white. But this is really pretty and it has a nice shimmer and shine to it. On page 49, we have the Ice Cream Corner Designer Series paper. This is super fun, and I love ice cream cones. This piece here, I thought it would be really neat to stamp. Maybe this one's a little bit darker, but on these lighter ones, kind of stamp a greeting image and, you know, maybe punch it out or cut it out. Would be really nice looking. There's some popsicles. These are the ones that I thought would look really great with greetings on them, these two here. I love the colors. And I don't know if, you know, ice cream naturally comes in all of those colors, but they sure are fun. And then the other side are ba more basic patterns, like that looks like a waffle cone. And just some stripes. And some polka dots. And some waves. And some confetti. So that's a really fun paper pack. On page 55 is the Snail Mail Designer Series paper pack, and it has these cute snails on it. But what I notice is that there's lots of hearts in this paper, and so I got this to use for my Valentines. I am not a big fan of mushrooms, but I do love the pattern on the back of this. Um, I do like mushrooms on my pizza, just not on my paper so much. But all these little hearts are going to make for some really cute Valentines. So on the back are also some you know, red and pink patterns that will be great for Valentines. Then they throw in a little, I think it's Bermuda Bay. And then here, this is the back of the mushroom paper. I'll totally be using this for Valentine's. It's got a red background with cute little pink hearts on it. Then kind of a fun all over, kind of a quilted pattern almost. Looks like postage stamps. And then this is really fun colors and it says hello in different languages. On page 67, there is a set of paper called Well Suited that has some nice manly patterns in kind of guy colors. So these will be nice for making more masculine cards. I know some men wear these this kind of pattern. My husband would never. <laughs> and then a nice, like, I want to call this Argyle, but it's not Argyle. Paisley, that's what it is. And then the other side are some more basic patterns, like that looks like a suit, you know, like the pants from a suit. Grid paper, I'm gonna see if my girls wanna use that for their math. Checks. So just some really nice masculine patterns if you need something like that. Now I want to move on to Celebration. Celebration is Stampin' Up's event of the year. So it goes from January 5th through February 28th this year, and for every $50 order or $100 order, depending on what you want from here, you get to pick a free gift. So let's look at some of the pretty paper options. On page three is this pretty Paper Blooms designer series paper, and this has some really big all over patterns that I like. These are gonna make some really pretty cards, and they would also, I think, work really great for scrapbook pages as well. So this set of paper you can get free with a $50 order in January and February. And if you would like to order with me as your demonstrator, you can go to shop and get up with Jessica.com or select Jessica Taylor from Wisconsin as your demonstrator. This one too, I thought you could stamp greetings in here and then punch or cut them out. 
And then as usual, the back side are more all over patterns. A lot more monochromatic as well. Some pretty flowers. I love blue. I love blue papers. On page seven is this pretty oh so ombre designer series paper. This is six by six and it's a little bit different. It's got two colors here and then the other side, two different colors. So you get 12 each of these sheets for a total of 48 pieces of paper. Again, free with a $50 order. On page 10, you'll find the Flower and Field Designer Series paper. This is another 12 by 12 paper pack that's free with a $50 order. So that's just through the end of February this year. But these are some really pretty floral patterns. And I like them so much better in person than I did seeing them in the catalog. That's why I'm showing you all of these papers on video because they're so much better when you can see like the full sheet. I mean, they're even better in person than they are on video. But the backs of these are just some nice basic designs. Then on page 14, we have the Berry Delightful Designer Series paper, which of course is covered in berries. This actually comes with a coordinating stamp set called Berry Blessings, and you can get both the stamp set and this um, berry fun paper uh -huh, with a $100 order. Who else loved strawberry shortcake when they were little? I mean, come on, all the berry stuff. And then the background, or the back of the berry paper is a lot of just kind of basic patterns that you wouldn't have to use with berries, but would still look nice with the berries. That almost looks like a giant strawberry with the little seeds. Very pretty. And then finally, I wanted to share with you some paper that you can get for free if you join Stampin' Up! during celebration, which again is during the months of January and February. So if you'd like more information on that, I'll put the link in the description below. I really hope you enjoyed looking at all the pretty papers with me, and I hope that you'll come back to see what I make with them.